Holy shit, yo, what up, YouTube? What up, boxing fans? Adrian Bronner. You know, I hate to say it was expected because you didn't know, man. You didn't know Adrian Bronner would go in there and annihilate Antonio DeMarco, you know. We just didn't know because Antonio DeMarco was a sturdy fucking test. And at the same time, this was a complete mismatch. You know, I hate... I This is like Adrian Bronner killed... Antonio DeMarco, it was a sacrificial lamb. This shit was a sacrifice. Adrian Bronner destroyed Antonio DeMarco in this fight. It took, what, eight rounds? Eight to nine? I think eight rounds. That's all it took. Maybe seven. I, I just remember complete domination from beginning to end, you know. This, this shit reminded me of Roy Jones in his prime. And you know what, I, I don't want to make crazy comparisons, but from the first round and the second round, you just see how Adrian Bronner worked the defense. You see how he consistently landed punches. It was like, you knew, you know, just like Roy Jones, you knew after the first two rounds, this shit's, this shit's not even a competition. Like, it's, Roy Jones got this easy. It's just like this shit, you know. Adrian Bronner, you could tell after the first two rounds, this isn't even going to be a test. It's going to be a whitewash. Adrian Brown is walking through DeMarco, no problem. Man, this is this was total package material here. You know, any boxing fan, if you saw this fight, you saw every component from Adrian Brown. You saw the defense. You saw the offense. You saw him put it together. This was a showcase-type performance. Tremendous. You want uppercuts? I'll show you uppercuts. Every time he threw an uppercut on the inside, it landed. Like, it would, you know, he landed 58% power punches. Ridiculous numbers. The last time I saw that was when Trinidad ripped McCart Ricardo Mayorga. That's the last time I saw something like 58% power punch connects. Ridiculous. And this is against a top-level champion. You know, and he's moving up in weight to face the number one guy, and he annihilates him. He makes it look easy. That's how good Adrian Bronner is. I'm tired of you punk ass people who come on here and tell me that he's gonna get knocked out from every fucking opponent, from Eloy Perez to this guy. He's gonna get knocked out. Man, this shit's not happening. The defense is too good. It's Mayweather esque. I mean, just look at the defense from Adrian Bronner. Look at his eyes. He's always watching Antonio DeMarco. He's watching everything he's doing. That's why DeMarco, he, it's like he was right in front of Broner, but he couldn't land shit. He couldn't land any clean punches. Broner did not get hit on the chin once. You know, maybe on the shoulder, maybe on the, never on the chin. You know, he's got that area just locked down you cannot hit him cleanly the way DeMarco fights you know you can't be right in front of Bronner and expect to land continuous combinations because you know what DeMarco had to throw a combination to land one punch that's how sad it was you know that's how sad and, and you could tell his power was not was nothing to Broner. That was nothing. You know what? It's my opinion that Broner will not be tested until he goes up to 140 pounds. That's the only weight division that's stacked from top to bottom. I think if he moves up to 147, the fights are easier than 140. That's where it's stacked. 147 is a good division, and it has the elites. But the 140 pound elites are great as well. You know, I I wish they could make Danny Garcia versus Bronner. Why not? <laughs> Take over another division, man. Like, there's nothing out there for him at 135. He can take Miguel Vasquez's title and then say he's king of the division. What else can he do? Apparently, Bronner was five pounds heavier than DeMarco. You know, overall, this was a complete whitewash mismatch and you know what I asked the question you know if Adrian Bronner makes it look easy do you put him in your pound for pound list 
like I said, he made it look easy, and I think a lot of people, a lot of quote-unquote boxing experts have him on our pound-for-pound pound list. He's one of the best in boxing, and we got to start giving him credit for it. Honestly, we got to start giving him credit. No bullshit. We got to keep it 100. He put on a showcase that, you know, only great fighters put on. And, you know, this is the start of, of a new star in boxing.